Hello brothers and sisters in MFC Canada. Uh, greetings to you at your National Servant Leaders Planning Retreat. It's so good that you're able to get together. Uh, maybe some of you are face-to-face. -face. I don't know if it's hybrid, but it's so good to just come together and to reflect on what has happened over the past few years, see where we are now and how we are to move forward. I'm Javi Padilla. I'm the International Mission Coordinator, recently appointed, and I definitely need your prayers in this new task ahead. Um, it's a daunting task, definitely, but with your help and with your prayers and with the help of the worldwide community of Missionary Families of Christ, I know that we can all do uh, great things. We can really make a difference, not only me, but all of us together. I think that's one of the main things that we have to really see that this worldwide work of the community is if it was it will work if we all work together if we all have that common vision common common goal and to really just move forward in evangelizing and bringing more people to christ not necessarily to join mfc that would be great if they end up joining mfc but there are so many people out there who are dying because with the reality that they have not heard what the gospel is they have not felt what it means to have great friends and true love and uh, we in MFC need to reach these people before they lose their lives and have not experienced it at all. Now we look at our theme for 2023. I don't know if you are able to talk about it or if you've heard about it uh, but let me just get into it even just a little bit. Uh, we Our themes are really affect our lives. I think you know you know that for sure. Uh, the themes that we've had in the past somehow, the things that we've experienced in our lives, we, we tend to say, oh, I experienced this because this is the theme. Or maybe the theme has helped us cope with experiences in our lives. Um, we've gone through a pandemic and because this was the theme, we were able to get through it really well. Or we were able to get through it um, with a deeper understanding of what that experience meant. For example, our theme in 2019 was Families on Mission. And that's the year we changed our name to Missionary Families of Christ. Something that really encompasses who we are. So if ever you're wondering, what is, what is the community supposed to do? What, what's our identity? Just look at our name. We are missionary, we are families, and we are in Christ. We are of Christ. We are for Christ. Missionary families of Christ. So that alone gives us the knowledge the, and where we're supposed, what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be missionary. We're supposed to bring our whole family together. And we should always be focused on Christ and spreading His message. When we entered the pandemic in 2020, it was built on rock. 20. Uh, 19 families on mission we entered the pandemic uh, built on rock and to the ends of the earth so as we entered the pandemic and all the struggles we were built on rock we knew our foundation after 40 years 39 years at that time of mfc we had that foundation to get through the pandemic and to go through it with all the difficulties all the anxieties and all the fears and when we entered the second year of the pandemic to the ends of the earth because via these apps Google Meet, Zoom, Messenger, we were, you were able to reach many, many more people all around the world. And now that we're going back to face-to-face -to -face things, we should make sure that they get endorsed to the MFC in the different areas. And if there's no MFC there, MFC there yet, then that's a call to mission to that area and to start MFC. And this year, we were told that we are blessed beyond bounds because at the end of the pandemic, we survived and we are still blessed in spite of and because of whatever happened. And we can still do so much, much more things. And now the mission is revving up again. And that blessing that we have received, that blessing that we know that we have in our hearts, we can move forward it, with it and reach more people. And now entering 2023, our theme is 1 Corinthians 16, 13 to 14. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Your every act should be done with love. And our line for that theme is firm in faith, founded on love. Because we realize that after 41 years, we're entering our 42nd year, uh, we need to continue to be firm in the faith. Meaning we know what our faith is all about. We can 
defend it. We can explain it. That's why we have pillars like live the faith, live the word that will help us with this. Because with all the attacks on family, all the attacks on faith now, especially there in Canada and in the West, we need to be able to speak up unafraid and we know what we're actually saying. So we need to be firm in faith. And in everything that we do, uh, even if you're firm in faith, even if you're very strong in our, in our opinions, in our mission for evangelization, we still need to be founded on love. We need to make sure that everything that we do uh, is done in love. We are still brothers and sisters after all. We are still one family and we need to make sure that people that we are talking to, whether they've been in community a long time, just new, or we're reaching out, they should be able to feel that brotherly and sisterly love from all of us. So even if you're firm, you still need to be very loving and to really reach out to everybody. Like I said, there are so many people around the world who are dying without knowing who Christ is. And we know who Christ is. We who have been here for 20 years, 30 years, even five years, even one year, we know who Christ is. We have experienced him to this community and we need to share that to other people as well. So basically, that's what we need to do. We need to be firm in faith, founded on love, and forward in mission. We need to keep on doing the mission. In the international mission world, we will continue to push on with the mission, evangelization. Uh, whether it is via MFC, wanting them to come to community, or LCSC, just introducing, reintroducing who Christ is to them. We need to reach everybody. We need to make sure that everybody has that chance to be saved and everybody has that chance to get to heaven, just like us. So we need to open new areas. We need to strengthen our current areas. We need to go to the locals. We need to go on mission. And I'm sure and I hope that Canada can be a great partner in doing this. Uh, you have been blessed like US and Europe, Middle East, Australia, Oceania, even India. Uh, you have been blessed with the resources to be able to go on mission on your own without really being funded by people. You can fund your own mission. And we look forward to for you to be able to do that. Go to Europe, go to Eastern Europe, go to Africa, do, go to the Caribbean, just your neighbors down south and really spread the gospel to these places. Even go to the provinces of Canada where we don't have MFC yet. In the province, go to the cities, go to the towns. Let's go out there and evangelize. Again, the work is great. The work is urgent and we definitely need all of you to do it. You are doing an amazing work. I am so excited to meet you one day in Canada, hopefully soon, so that we can talk more and see more where things can go. Um, I have still a lot to say, but let's keep it for when we see each other again. Again, um, as we are firm in faith, we are founded on love and we move forward with the mission because we are missionary, we should be together with our families and we should always be focused on Christ. And as a family, I'd like you to meet my family. Here we go. And here's my family. I'd like to introduce them to you. Hi, I'm Des. Hi, I'm Jolene. I'm Ida. I'm Franco. I'm Maria. And I'm Jack. Hi, Hi I'm Jessica. We are missionary families of Christ.